Welcome back, everybody. Uh, earlier today, uh, I installed Arch Linux from scratch using the uh, open box uh, window manager. And now I'm going to do the exact same thing, but only I'm using Debian to do it. So it's basically going to be the same exact thing I just did with uh, Arch Linux, but it's going to be with Debian. So it's going to be a, a full desktop, but that's lightweight. It's going to be very low on resources. Okay, so I have the ISO currently in a, in a virtual machine. So I got my options here to boot up. So I can either go graphical install or just install. So they're both pretty much the same. It's just one is more, I don't know how to explain it. Graphical just is it's, it's pretty much the exact same thing as installing the terminal. It just does it with more colors, I guess. It's the easiest way for me to explain it. All right, so I'm just gonna click install and let it run its course. And we'll follow along and get it done. So on the selected language, it's already selected as English. Just click enter. Select your, your location, United States, click enter. Configure the keyboard, American English, press enter. It's gonna do a few detections. All right, so right now it has Debian selected as a host name. That's fine with me. I'm just click enter. Domain name is blank. I'm gonna do it like that. Just click enter. Now I'm gonna set up a root password. Click enter. Uh, set up a new user. Again, password for the new user. It'll do a few things and then I'll be prompted to enter some more info, like right here. Pacific, Los Angeles is my time. Right here, set it to set up the disk. It gives you a few options. If you want to use LVM, you can select this. If you want to use the entire disk and set up encrypted LVM, or if you want to manually set it, but I always choose the easiest option of them all. Guide it, use entire disk. And it has already the disk selected. All files in one partition, that's fine with me. Yes, sir. And then I'll select Yes, and click enter. Now, this will take a few minutes. Uh, then I'm gonna be prompted back for some more information. So uh, I'll come back once I'm at that window. Okay, now I'm being asked to configure the package manager. So I am going to select, let's see. If you wish to scan more media, please insert it. another one now. Scan extra? No, I, don't, I do not need to scan anything. United States. Deb, Debian.org. Fine with me. Proxy, blank. Now it's going to configure the app. Okay, now we're being asked configure it, configuring popularity contest. The system may anonymously supply the distribution of errors for statistics about most used packages on this system. This information influences decisions such as which packages should go on the first distribution CD. If you choose, nah, I'm not going to participate. And I'm good. Okay, so I don't want the Debian desktop environment. I don't want GNOME. I'll just leave a SSH server and standard system utilities. That's it. And what this should do is uh, just leave me with the uh, TTY once it's installed. And from the TTY, then I'll set up my uh, open box environment. So that's it. Okay, it appears that uh, installation is completed now. So I'll click continue to boot to reboot. I'll detach the ISO and then get back in there. Oh, it's already detached. Good job, Debian.
Okay, so now I'm at my login. I'll go ahead and log in. Okay. All right, so right now, it's just basic server. So this is Debian 12, it's installed, but it's just a basic, uh, just a basic TTY, because I don't have a desktop, I don't have none of that. So I need to do that now. So I'll do a SU, and my password. So now I'm a, as a root, and now I can install software. Debian is not the same as Ubuntu. When you first get on Debian, you have to do SU and then apt install whatever you want to install. It's not like on Ubuntu or other systems where you, you know you type sudo and then apt install. Once I get on the desktop, then I have to set up some parameters to make it that way. But out the box, you have to do SU, your password, you elevate your level to root, and then you can install whatever you want. So now let's install the packages that we need. So app install. We do open box ob conf chant two instead of fair I'm gonna use nitrogen this time this is just a graphical way of doing things and it might be easier for you guys I don't know let me know in the comics if this is uh easier for you guys nitrogen or fair so x term LX appearance NX terminal. I need a file manager, so Nemo text editor, G edit. Uh, let me see, YAD and screen. Let me see, light DM and light DM dash GTK dash. Reader. Okay, I got that. I always, I always get stuck on these because uh, I know there's more stuff that I need. But uh, Rofi, I'll do GIMP, and also the LibreOffice. And I believe it's fresh, but we'll soon find out. Let me see again. LibreOffice or oh, Firefox. I need a web browser. I think it's Firefox ESR. Oh, let me see. I want to get just the standard stuff that I need just to get a volume icon also. And on this one, I have to install. Uh, Bottle control and pulse audio. Or if you want to install pipe wire, install pipe wire. But this is just like so I have control of my uh, volume icon. And I think X Render is installed out of the box. I believe it is. So I don't need to install A Render like on the last one. But we'll see right now. I'm thinking that's all the standard utilities I need. And this should get me going, but let me just think for a minute here because I know when the time comes up, it'll, I'll be installing a lot more stuff. But for now, I think this is getting me going. Unable, LibreOffice Fresh, unable to locate. So let's do this. Same thing happened on Arch. I got an error for LibreOffice, so let me hit tab. Uh, let me see what LibreOffice on. Oh, <laughs> and there we go. So this will take about I don't know, a few minutes to install. So let's let us do its thing, and uh, we'll be back once it's done. All right, all my programs have installed, so now it's time to do some maintenance. So, I don't think I have to do the system CTL enable light DM. I think it's automatically uh, set up here. Debian, I could be wrong, but uh, I'm remembering uh, 
some things that I need to install like well, I think I thought I remembered let me see what is it that I need to install there's something that I need to install that I'm forgetting so what is it oh it'll come back to me right now see light the end next one oh I think nano Uh, nano's already installed maybe I did install it who knows but uh let's do an ls here nothing let's go cd dot config you know what I need to get out of this root user so let me type exit first that will I'll create the uh open box directory as a That's a regular user. Okay, so I mean, uh, Linux Hub. Okay. Let's CV into Linux Hub. CV dot config okay mkdir dot config cd dot config mkdir open box cd open box and now nano auto start and put in temp2 ampersand and volume icon and and here I, I believe X render is installed instead of a render So I'll just put it in there. I'll even add a, a DPI setting. And with a X render for some reason, we have gotta do it twice. It even says that I believe in the wiki to do it twice and it accepts it like that. So let's see, did I install a pull kit? I don't think I did. Let me do an easy one. On a, I'll do LX pull, LX pull kit. And I'll, I just gotta remember to install it. Control O, enter, Control X. And now I gotta do, go back to SU. App, install, LX, pull, kit. All right. And now that I'm here on the, let me just do this. All right, now I'll do the LS. Now I'll do the LS. Now I'll do the LS. There we go. So I'm gonna go nano etc light dm light dm dot config need to uncomment a few so 
So the first one I'm on common is gonna be Pam, Service Light DM, and then the one right below it. Then I'm gonna go down, auto login, guess false, that one, the one below it, and then one below that one. And then I have to let my user, I'm the auto login user, up I like that control o, enter control X now I need to add auto login to the group so okay that's not found so I may have to do some uh, some other uh, steps on the desktop once I get there. Anyways, let's do a reboot. See what happens. Uh, system CTL reboot. There we go. Yeah, good old Debian sticks to old rules. Hey, it works, so good for them, right? If it ain't broke, why fix it, right? And we are on the desktop. We are at the proper uh, 1080p screen. Auto login went without a hitch. My volume is on there perfectly. Everything, everything's done correctly. As you can see here, we're on, we are on the uh, open box. All right. So now let's set up my launcher. Well, I don't need none of these, so all oh, be gone. That I do need. And let's see. LX terminal and files, my file manager. Alright. And then the clock. Again, same thing as before. Yad. Let's see if that worked. It did, all my buttons are down here. I'll just cancel it for now. Now I need to go to my panel items, create my uh, menu launcher, or application launcher, or whatever you want to call it. Again, I'll just call it menu. And the command will be Rofi. Show DRAM, show icons. All right, and I could do a right click if I wanted to, but I think that's pretty simple for now. Let me change the color of the text so that we can see it. Click apply. All right, now. There's a lot of other things I could do, but I'm going to just keep it simple. So let me just set up my wallpaper and I'll be done here. I like it. Okay. Okay. Get rid of that. Let me get a wallpaper installed. tools on size large let me expand that oh yeah all right just looking for a simple uh, image that I can use as a background I did this one on my arch Linux one so I'll do a different one on here uh, let's see you know what this will do I'll go to home Create a new folder called pictures. I don't have to, but and then I'll just call this wall. Now I could download multiple images to have. Yeah, let me just do that now. Save it. Let's just get a few of them. 
give me an example of how uh, nitrogen works. All right, I'm done with all these. Close that, open up my menu, type nitrogen. Open it up, set this to zoom fill. Preference, add, Linux up, pictures, select, okay, and bam. So whichever one you want, it'll set your wallpaper. Easy peasy. That's the one I downloaded, but I think I like this one better. So click apply. Now one more thing I need to do is uh, open up a get into open box open up auto start and I need to select nitrogen dash dash restore this way it'll uh, it'll open up my uh, wallpaper when it starts so I think I'm done let's go ahead and uh, restart the system and we'll take a look there we go everything started up properly all right have a clock Click it on the clock, opens up my calendar. I got my session manager included into that. I can, I like it. I got my volume, got my pinned items. All right, now let's, uh, let me see if sudo works. Maybe Debian 12 changed something. Cause I wanna do htop. Yeah, see, Linux is not in the suitor, so I have to do some things, so I'm not going to bother with it right now. I'll just do su, password, and then app, install, htop. All right, moment of truth. My system is complete. Would you look at that? 307 megabytes on the memory. Tasks, low, load average. Look at that. It's just low. Everything's beautiful right here. And it's a full blown system. I can do anything I need with this. Got my program launcher, find my applications, and you can even run the terminal commands right here. You can do everything right here from D run. It's beautiful. And on this one, oh yeah, I did get LibreOffice installed, All right? The only thing I didn't install was like a, a multimedia player and things like that, but you know, it's a full-blown system with apt install celluloid and I'm done. Same thing with any music player. Like I said, I can, I can pimp this out to look however I want. I can make it do whatever I want it to do. The world is at my fingertips right here. And it's all on a low running system low resources 318 megabytes that's beautiful all right so this is debian lightweight debian system all right and like i said i think i'll release this one on christmas since i already released the arch one on uh, christmas eve so i'll release this one on christmas so you'll see this on christmas all right so everybody if you enjoyed the video please give it a like if you didn't you can always thumb it down that's okay with me all right, and if you're not subscribed, please uh, subscribe and uh, help me get to that magical spot. All right, and I'm out.